There's an expression often used in German, conflict culture, conflict culture. And the claim that all relationships are a conflict situation, that's a typical Marxist theory, which proposes that every idea is a thesis and automatically generates an antithesis and that the thesis and the antithesis fight each other. And from the fight, there's a new creation, an antithesis, from the antithesis, and that's the new life, the new production. Now, actually, what that results in is destruction because the conflict destroys lives in war, destroys material, houses, families, lives and relationships. The unificationist perspective is one of harmony based on the yin-yang principle that just as the recognition that men and women have masculine and feminine aspects within themselves, that all relationships have those two aspects coming together and that these two can harmonize through their give and take relationship. And through that give and take action between man and woman, for example, come the children in the family, from the family, born into that family, and they too can develop a harmonious relationship with an, you might say, opposite. But it's a harmonious opposite. It's an attraction of opposites that results in a new creation of harmony, which can then produce new life. Now, this is not only in families, it's in all relationships. When we learn to appreciate our individual characteristics and the individual characteristics of another person, and through the action of give and take, through the attraction that we experience, come together and harmonize, then we can create something new and better. This new and better will not be created if we're fighting with each other, we destroy each other like that.